T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. All right, so we now have video cameras on board these payloads. We have some looking down at us. Hello. We have some <laughs> looking up at the balloons. So hopefully we can record the balloons exploding in an hour and a half time at about 70 to 80,000 feet. Five. So the first, the first package balloon has been recovered, safely was on someone's property, and now the second balloon we think is stuck in some high pine trees, so we're waiting to get some more data on the GPS. They came down in Tarboro, I believe. This BSS, like it, that Blessed Sacrament School. It's a school project. Uh, it was very exciting. It was great to see a lot of other people in the community to be involved. Um, it does a lot for uh, Blessed Sacrament, for the school, for what they did. It was raining and it was dreary, but it was the most exciting two and a half hour drive of my life. Uh, those children, I tell you, they, they, day one, they understood what was going on and they asked some fantastic questions. The teachers were very enthusiastic. The mission control part was so much fun. I think um, that that's what the kids will remember uh, most, the whole crowd cheering as we uh, discovered payload one. And of course, the kids who chased the payloads, they have adventures um, uh, that they will never uh, forget. Don't be scared to try something outside of the box. If you don't try it, you'll never know if it's going to work out. And it truly was one of those moments where the kids um, will probably never forget um, the launch, the chase crew, the, the time they've spent building and trying and making prototypes. The hands-on learning is something that just can't be replicated. Mm -hmm. 